Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. In this video, I am going to cover remaining evaluation metrics for regression family of algorithms since we now have fair uh, understanding of what are predicted and what are actual observation. So in order to evaluate regression models, we use uh, uh, several other techniques as well uh, like mean square error, uh, mean absolute error, R square, adjusted R square, uh, root mean square error, etc. And I'm going to cover remaining metrics uh, like uh, mean absolute error, mean square error and root mean square error in this video. So I stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire the complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So let me start with mean square error or MSC. Uh, mean square error is a technique which measures uh, average uh, you know uh, square error of uh, our machine learning predictions for each of the observation it actually calculates the sum of a square of difference between actual and predicted values and then it averages out these values the squaring is uh, necessary here in order to basically remove uh, any negative signs it also gives more weight to larger differences. So it's called uh, the mean square error because you find the average of you know uh, uh, set of error. So mean square error is probably the most simple and common metric for evaluating a regression family of algorithms. But I think it's also probably the least useful metric. Uh, it is defined by the equation shown on the screen. Okay where uh, yi is the actual output and uh, yi is yi hat is the model's predicted value if we get higher value of mse then it means that our model is worse model if the value of mse is zero or close to zero then it means that our model is perfect which is very rare now mse is useful in the scenarios where we have unexpected data values that is very high or low values the problem with this uh, particular kind of metric is that uh, you know it can overestimate the model's badness if we have noisy data or bad data if the errors are smaller than one then uh, it may you know underestimate the model's badness so in a nutshell in mse noise is ex exaggerated and large errors are punished we can calculate the um, mean square error using scikit-learn's metric package. So let me open the Jupyter notebook here. So I'm utilizing this metric uh, method and uh, there is a function called mean square error associated with it. Okay. Uh, with this particular metric package, which you can see on the uh, screen as well. So we have uh, we have to pass uh, uh, the y test which stores the actual values as well as y predict which stores the predicted values as a parameter to this function okay so once uh, when i ran the cell we got the uh, mean square error value as 0 0.003 which is uh, close to zero and hence uh, depicting that our model is really good okay so let's move on to another metric called uh, root mean square uh, error which is nothing but the square root of uh, mean square error so it is represented by the formula shown on the screen and it basically tells you how uh, concentrated the data is around the uh, line of best fit now the question comes uh, why are we introducing a square root of um, mean square error value to make it uh, root mean square error well, the answer is uh, to bring errors on the same scale as of targets, uh, target values uh, scale. Okay, that is RMSE will have same units as the target variable, while uh, in case of MSE, uh, it has the squared units. Okay, so RMSE in fact uh, has the benefit of penalizing large error, uh, errors more so that it can be, you know, more appropriate in some cases. 
so we can calculate the rse by just you know taking the square root of uh, mean square error and hence i just you know copy pasted the above value which is uh, this one okay so i copy and pasted here pasted it here okay and then uh, i just uh, used this np dot or numpy's square root function to take the square root of this complete value okay this entire value uh, and when i ran the cell we can see that rmse output uh, came as 0.05567 which is quite low depicting that our model is uh, really good okay so moving on to the next metric which is a mean abs absolute error or mae okay so here we calculate the error as an average of absolute difference between the actual value and the predicted values the mae or mean absolute error is a linear score which means that all the individual difference uh, differences are weighted equally in the average okay for example the difference between 30 and 0 will be thrice the difference between 10 and 0 however same is not true for rmse please note that uh, this metric is not uh, that much sensitive to outliers as mean square error is okay so hence it doesn't penalize uh, the uh, huge error uh, errors as much as mse does so mae is used in functional area called finance where uh, 30 dollar error is exactly three times worse than the 10 dollar error okay whereas uh, in case of MSE uh, metric, uh, it, it actually thinks that a $30 error is nine times worse than $10 error because a square of 30 is 900 and a square of 10 is 100. Okay. And if you divide 900 by 100, it comes as nine, which depicts $30 error is nine times worse than $10 error. Okay. So MAE is uh, or mean absolute error is a little bit easier uh, than RMSE from justification point of view. And if you are wondering uh, when to use MSE and when to use MAE, then ask these questions first. Number one, do you have uh, outliers in the data set? If the answer is yes, then you can use MAE. Otherwise, you need to use MSE. Finally, uh, we can calculate MAE using the function called mean absolute error from matrix package as shown here on the screen. So you can see this function mean absolute error. And again, I'm passing Y test and Y predict as a parameter uh, to this particular function. Okay, so when I ran the cell, I got the value as uh, 0 0.049, which is quite low, depicting that our uh, model is really good. Please note that RMSE and R square are very similar to MSE from optimization point of view. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained the uh, remaining techniques uh, of a model evaluation of regression family of algorithm like uh, mean absolute error, mean uh, square error and root mean square error. Okay. So let me ask you a question from today's video. If we have outliers in the data, then which evaluation technique uh, should we use, MAE or MSE? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.